Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about Ohr's theorem. In the previous lecture we talked about Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian circuits and we said that there isn't a particular theorem that can tell us whether a graph is Hamiltonian or not. So what can Ohr's theorem provide us or offer us? Well basically Ohr's theorem is a sufficient condition for a graph to be Hamiltonian, meaning if we can find the condition that Ohr provides in our graph then it is sufficient for the graph to be Hamiltonian. However, the opposite is not true, meaning if that particular condition does not exist in the graph, it does not mean that the graph will not be Hamiltonian. That's why Ohr's theorem cannot be thought of as a theorem that can tell us whether a graph is Hamiltonian or not. It will just give a sufficient condition for the graph to be Hamiltonian. In a second, I'll show you an example that Ohr's theorem can be applied on it and it's Hamiltonian and I'll give you another example that Ohr's theorem will not apply on it and still is Hamiltonian. So Ohr's theorem it just gives a sufficient condition for a graph to be Hamiltonian just to repeat it meaning if that particular condition that Ohr talks about is present in our graph then our graph will be Hamiltonian but it does not mean that if the condition is not there the graph will not be Hamiltonian. So basically Ohr's theorem says that if a simple graph G has number of vertices equal or greater than 3, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on vertices, such that the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is equal or greater than n, which is the number of our vertices, then G is Hamiltonian. Meaning, if we take every pair of non-adjacent vertices and sum their degrees and then compare it with the number of vertices do we have, if that number is equal or greater than the number of the vertices, then that particular graph will be Hamiltonian. This is the sufficient condition for a graph to be Hamiltonian. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have a graph like this. As you can see it, we have one, two, three, four, five vertices. Let's see just if the condition applies to this particular graph. The sum of the degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices has to be greater or equal to 5 in our case. So non-adjacent vertices in this particular example is A and D, B, E, B, C, and D, A. Because A and D are not directly connected, B and E are not directly connected. The same goes for B and C and D and A. So let's check out the sum of their degrees. Well, the sum of degrees of A and D, this is A, it has three edges connected to it and D, it has three edges connected to it, therefore it is 6. The sum of degrees of B and E is 5, the sum of degrees of B and C is 5, and the sum of degrees of D and A is 6. As you can see it, the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is either equal or greater than 5, which is the number of the vertices, therefore this has a sufficient condition for the graph to be Hamiltonian. Since this particular condition is present in this graph, then the graph is Hamiltonian. However, I repeat it and I repeat it and I repeat it again, if the condition is not present in the graph, it does not mean the graph is not Hamiltonian. So let me give you an example for that. As you can see it in this particular example, we have five vertices and this can be a particular path. So we can start from A, go to B, go to D, go to E, and then go to C, and then go back to A if we want. I didn't put A right here. So as you can see, this particular graph is Hamiltonian. However, the condition of the Ohr's theorem does not apply to it and still it is Hamiltonian because the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertex, degree four, as you can see it, we have five vertices and the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is less than 5. However, still the graph is Hamiltonian. So Ohr's theorem says that if a simple graph has vertices greater than 3, such that the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is greater than n, then G is Hamiltonian. If this particular condition is present in our graph, then the graph has a sufficient condition to be Hamiltonian. However, if the condition is not present, it does not mean the graph is not Hamiltonian. We can have a graph that this particular condition does not apply to it and still is Hamiltonian. However, as soon as this condition is present in the graph, then the graph has a sufficient condition to be Hamiltonian. I hope you make the difference between those statements. And with this, we come to the end of this lecture.